G'day guys, uh, today we have an exciting tool, not brand new to the market, but uh, it's the Milwaukee Fuel SDS Max rotary hammer drill. The Max, the M18 CHM. That's right. I'm saying chipping hammer mode. Maybe, or M that. for Max maybe, something like that. Could be Max. Uh, specs are 3000 BPM and a whopping 6.9 joules um, oh, per hit. So I'm expecting the chiseling is going to be pretty decent. Yeah. You'll All also right. notice it comes on a big high demand 9 amp hour battery. Yep, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Really cool because you can use that on your other tools too. Yeah. Imagine the runtime you're going to get on your grinder and your circ saw and stuff. Because, oh, impact driver. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because we all know you don't like slims. Yeah, that's right. Um, so anyway, uh, pretty exciting tool, pretty big. Um, and uh, I think... Big is best. You know, Milwaukee are trying to replace um, cords on the yep. on the job site. What's and their motto? Cut the cord, isn't it? I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something like that. And uh, this seems to be a step in that direction. So yep. we're going to give it some testing and come back and report. See you soon. Alright, so um, what we've actually done is a big comparison. Very big. Very big comparison we posted late last year, so yep. if you haven't seen it, you're going to want to see it um, on the biggest and best SDS Plus and Max, and Max yeah. uh, rotary hammer drills on the market. So this is one of only two SDS Max yep. units on the market in, on a battery, um, the other being the Dewalt, which we've already reviewed before. Yep. Um, so. This thing's like been put right through its paces. It's yep. done 16 mil up to 32 mil um, bits. Some chipping. It's done a runtime test at 22 mil. Yep. Um, so yeah, it, it really has had a good run. And uh, the first thing I want to note to you is that some people, and I put myself in this category a few months ago, don't appreciate that an SDS Max big unit here. It isn't just better at everything. No, you're right in that you thought it, I certainly thought it, bigger's better, yeah. and I thought it was just going to smash through everything. I thought, you know, sure, put this, put a 10 mil or a 12 or a 16 mil on this, and it's going to destroy your yep. smaller unit. Well, it's actually not. Yep. It's actually going to be far slower um, on a 12 mil bit than your regular SDS Plus yep. M18 unit. Yep. Um, this one, I, I think the cutover is probably going to be, from Milwaukee's 
highest SDS plus unit. I think it's a 28 mil rated unit. Yep. I think the the point the cutover is probably going to be somewhere around 20 mil. Yeah. Where this starts to beat it. Yep. Low 20s, something around there. Yep. Um, certainly, as you get up towards an inch, 28, 30 mil. It really starts coming into its own. Then it's going to destroy yeah. your little SDS plus units. Yep. Um, but if most of your work is sub 20, yep. then um, you're probably better served by an SDS plus unit. And yeah. your bits are cheaper. Yes, that's true. Yes, because these are a max. If you mainly do 20s plus, yeah. no drama. Stick a 12 or something like that in it. Oh, for sure. And it'll get you out of trouble. You don't have to have another unit. No. It's not that bad. No, no, no. It's just, it's it's not built for that. It's no. definitely built for the upper end. Yeah, it might take twice as long yeah. to do a 12 mil hole yep. as, as a small unit. Which you wouldn't dream of. I it's, just wouldn't have thought of it. Yeah, but that's just how it works. Yep. And that is, it's that lower BPM, 3000. Yep. Um, as compared to most SDS plus units are sort of up around the 5,000 range. Yep, because this is more about the joules that it's punching in. That's right. Uh, not necessarily about the BPM. Exactly. Yep. So, um, yeah, so that was one thing we discovered, and yep. so you'll need to know. Um, of course, I would imagine that if you're doing 20 all day and you're deciding, well, I would imagine that this one's going to wear slower, like it's going to handle a long life of 20 mil holes perhaps better than a smaller unit, so... Yeah, well, the smaller ones, you, you, at 20 work, mil, you sit at the higher end. Harder. This one, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is chugging along in third gear. Yeah, that's right. This is, <laughs> it's, a, it's a workhorse. Yeah. Um, in terms of features, it's very plain. It's just yep. got chisel mode and yep. hammer drill mode. It doesn't even have just a regular spinning drill And not mode. even a coffee holder on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't need bells and whistles on it, do no, you? No. Like, we actually even looked at it as far as, gee, it is just plain. Maybe it's just built to do a job. Well, yep. yeah, guess what it is. It's also only two mode. It's not three mode where you've got drilling only. I just said that. Damn it, did you? <laughs> Get drunk. Not listening I'll, I'll cut it out. So the weight is about 6.7 kilo, which does get a little bit heavy, yep. but you're also not using the thing all day above your head, are you? We hope. So yeah, well, anyone who is, I really feel sorry for you. You deserve to get paid more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, but a lot of the time with this, you are going to be drilling down, straight in front. Yeah. You're not going to be doing 150 holes above your head, I would hope. Let's hope. Uh, 470 ish mil long. Yep. Um, it's pretty standard, you know, in this cat in this sort of weight class category. Yeah. Yeah, it's smaller than the Dewalt, isn't it? Slightly um, shorter. I think it. Yes, very slightly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, High for detail, mate. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, this is a fuel unit, so it's top of the range. It's brushless. Yep. And it has a kickback safety as well, which we haven't tried. Yep. Um, but you know, oh, I don't want to try that. No, it's advertised. <laughs> um, kit cost is 1100. Okay. Um, the skin was 660. 660, okay. Yeah. So that, that your kit comes with a couple of 9 amp, bat amp batteries. Yeah. And this thing is going to chew the juice. Look, it will, and if you're, if you're only just getting into this, I'd recommend then, since they come with a 9 O's, mm. if you're not already on 9 O's, you'd be mad if you didn't get a kit. Yeah. So, because um, you, you want a couple of those 9 O's for your high drawing units. That's right. Um, that'd be cool. Yeah. Now, I know some of you are going to ask, well, just tell us, um, you know, is it better than the Dewalt or is it not? And... You know, go watch the comparison. Yep. But um, it doesn't quite keep up with the flex volt, yeah. 54 volt. It got beaten. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't miles behind. It wasn't. It wasn't a heap of crap. No. It it got beaten. It did. So. It, you know, by a 54 volt unit. Yeah. But this is a, a really good unit still, and for people who are on the M18 line, yeah, it's just a no-brainer. Yep. And there are so many, <laughs> so many people are running Milwaukee. Yep. Um, they're just everywhere on the job sites. Yeah. Um, so to be able to buy this, to now have a nine amp hour for your other tools as well, yeah. or yeah. to be able to throw your your old fours or fives on this in a pinch yep. when you need to, yep. um, it's it's a no brainer. Yeah. The only thing that I would say, I think we are agreeing in agreement. The only thing that would let this unit down is the fact that it comes with a nine amp hour, nine amp hour, which we're very happy about. But the rapid charger, oh yeah, it ain't so rapid. I don't no. think, I, I know that still... It's fine for a 5. For a 5, but since he's, they've stepped up to a 9... It's about 100 it's, minutes. It's an hour and 40. Ish. Yeah, yeah. so I, I think they really need to fairly quickly, honestly, jump up, get a rapid, rapid charger, mm. um, a times 2, and, and work out a way to get these bad boys um, running a bit harder. Because if you are yep. drilling 32 mil holes with this, yep. you're going to do a couple of 9.0s fairly quick. Yeah. Yep. Well, your arms are going to be buggered by then anyway. I'll be looking for a cup of tea. Yeah. But you guys out there, you're going to want a faster charger, I think. I'm trying to remember. I think 
we did a runtime test on 22 mil holes, and that was going through 200 mil sleepers. They were 40 MPA. 40 MPA, yep. And I'm pretty sure this did 15 holes. Okay. So like one of them. On, on one battery. So, yep. yeah, so you are going to chew through the juice yep. if you're using this in hard concrete yes. repetitively. Yep. Um, other than that, not a lot else to say about it. I'm pretty happy the the bit holder and the side handle and everything work perfect and as you'd expect. Yeah, no bells, no, and, no bells and whistles. No. There's just no bells and whistles at all in general. No. So we just grease, grease the bits up, rock and roll, yeah. and didn't miss a beat from the start. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the M18 CHM from yep. Milwaukee. Um, go check it out in your local stores. Yep. Um, and tell us what you think. Tell us if you own one, how it stood up to the test of time, and whether you're happy with its performance. Yeah, M18 Oregon Classic Hole Machine. <laughs> Good be. M18 CHM Classic yeah. Hole Machine. That's Let's uh, go with that. All right, done. Hashtag it. If uh, Milwaukee haven't named it that, then they can rename it now. True. All right, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. Yep. Uh, check us out on our Instagram and Facebook accounts as well. Yep. Hit us up, guys. We'd love to chat. We'll see you next time. All right, see you later. Bye.